game one of winter semis, we're in best are of you, five territory. Are you? That, that's literally what they have to do. They have to ask Skarnox, like, hey, are you guys okay with like Cloud losing to like this blocky character named Steve from Microsoft? Cool. All right. Cool. Thank you. Sharp going cloud. Interesting choice. <laughs> Pretty interesting because there are some times where like Young Link has to kind of back off a little bit. And in backing off, the one thing you kind of have to worry about from cloud is back air. That's just one aspect of it, granted. You know, not the whole aspect of the matchup, but cloud can definitely lay on the pressure on the character like Young Link. And if Young Link decides to go aggro, you know how that uppy works for cloud. But man, what a lead in with these fire arrows. And Sharp has yet yeah. to have answered any percent. As Alpha has just taken all this control forward into that fire arrow, dash attack to stop the landing. Alpha definitely playing like an actual alpha man. This is the alpha male, the alpha main, the alpha player. Man, he's literally living up to his namesake so far. And Sharp finally able to start playing the game there. Oh, tech chase. Oh, he connects to the big F tilt and Alpha taking that first dot. Wait, that's, that's terrible. Commanded. That's terrible grammar, David. You have to say it's either alpha or chat. You can't say both. Like, they both reference the same thing. Alpha is an alpha. That's what it is, man. All right, anyways, he is going to continue playing like an alpha. Uh, and he's got this two stock lead on Sharp, man. I want to see Sharp being able to get in, but the problem is here Young Link's arsenal being able to not only effectively punish his opponents for their aggression, but also being able to land in for picks for damage can be pretty difficult to deal with. And for now, it's how Sharp breaks on. He finally gets a cross up with this back here. But, you know, is it enough? Because look at the way that immediately Alpha is able to come back on the stage. What a call yeah. out. Oh, can't do much about Limit Cross when you've already committed to the bomb toss there. And yeah. That's one of the things that a lot of people tell you about fighting Yun Link is the best opportunity to punish the characters during the animation for bomb grab. Yeah. It, it's literally like one of his most laggiest like startups. A lot of Links will live and die with the bomb grab, honestly. Oh, nice oh, bomb no. drop there. Mm -hmm. No confirm. Good Nair to cover the platform landing. Bomb to cover that opportunity at the ledge oh, here. Man. Alpha is playing like one and all the way through. Man, but Sharp but finally Sharp was ready stage. for that ledge. Sharp held in. He was ready for that ledge drop. Here comes the cross slash again. And now it's Sharp's turn to try and force Alpha ledge. Oh, no! He just erased the stock! The down air catching Alpha in the really compromising position. But Alpha trying to bring us back and not the momentum hang over him too long. Yeah, as he should. Oh, that's a good call out there from that forwarder. Just knowing how uh -oh. Alpha was going to set up uh -oh. in the opportunities and all the things given here. But man, Nido Sharp is has woken up. Mm -hmm. Sharp has woken up, Vance. <laughs> Ooh, whiffs the upbeat, but Alpha was just hesitated too long. Nice parry, though, that Nair actually carries Sharp completely off stage. Uh, Alpha's going to watch the landing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing too. If you're not careful with your landing, you'll take on, that was unnecessary damage. He literally had the entire rest of the stage to try to land to, but Alpha went a little bit too aggressive. I have to give him the credit though. Like you see that 174, but this is what I was telling you, bro. He sometimes suffers the chic issue where like he yeah. has to commit for something. Even though oh. he finally earned that up air, <laughs> if it didn't hit, he was going to be stun stuck in end lag in which Sharp could have hit, hit him. But that required him to have that set up for that upper. That was the play there for Alpha, is have something set up to force Sharp into that upper situation. All right, it's up to Alpha right now. Trying to fight his way back in, trying to find this window. Pry it open to take back this game. But Sharp is at full stage, he's got all the stage. Now he can try to find the limit. Oh, he caught up. He actually stuffed it out. That was really good by Alpha. Oh, Alpha, piling on the damage. Now you find, it was like Sharp is just trying to find the connecting blow, the big back here, but Alpha survives it. Can't believe Sharp got hit by that bomb toss. Oh, uh, Alpha's, yeah, that's a back air. It's, oh. it's, yeah, it's rough just because the bomb hit him and then Alpha was forced to a situation where like, it's a guessing game for Cloud and given Cloud's speed, Cloud can just immediately close that gap between the ledge, the air, the landing, you name it. That's what yeah. makes this hard for Young Link. On top of Young Link already being light, it, it can be difficult. Cloud is really good at like just having that speed and damage with and, back air and the range. And when, with, and when paired with Sharp's killer instinct and just tends to call out, you know, it was fatal for Alpha there. That Losing that 
stock, the second stock really early from the down air was so brutal. Yeah. And for Sharp, too, like, you have to think about it on this one for Sharp, is that he's got the character in hand that can give Young Link a run for his money. And like I said, if Young Link doesn't take care of that stock, it becomes a chic problem of like, cool, I have to really work extra. I have to get that confirmed if I don't get it. You know, my opponent gets to live a little bit longer. Yeah. And also, it sounds funny in hindsight, but Young Link actually gets outranged. It's when you think about like just characters actual move pool, like his physical damage, not the projectiles, Young Link is actually getting outranged. And that back air has got some range to it. So that's how he'll definitely suffer. If Alpha tried to go for, you know, a neutral air, that back air would have beaten it out. That's kind of one of the shortcomings of Young Link. Is... Or, or, or simply put, big sword versus little sword. Yeah. I call it a dagger. Because I remember they called it the Kokiri sword. And I was like, that is a dagger, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Kokiri people are like three feet tall. If for, for a six foot man, that is a dagger. That is not a sword. Mm. Sharp just deciding to go with the Pyramithra for game two. This is interesting. I have not seen Sharp's Pyramithra. This is a character that like, I don't know if... The character has fallen off in terms of like, oh, well, this character is hype and broken, but like, for sure, this we'll have to see this character's full potential more offline than online because yeah. the online meta is just that strong that we haven't really seen that much from Pyro and Mithra. Oh, there are the few victories that we have seen from MKLeo, but hey, man, that's MKLeo. The rest of the people got to, you know, learn to build their own meta offline. And that's where things really change for characters, especially like Pyra and Mithra, Sephiroth, Byleth. Right now, respectable back and forth between these two. Sharp lane, Alpha just hanging out off stage and trying to control center. And Alpha pushing back, using Boomerang very well to do so. And the change to... That's good. That was good. He just uh, a little too early there from Alpha because he called out that roll from Sharp. Seeing how he put Sharp in the corner oh, that down there. Oh, no. Down there, up smash. Bread and butter for Pyra to close the stock. Again, that's just one of the things. Young Link's just a little light. So even on Town's elevated ceiling, that was a kill confirm. Yeah. Ooh, nice and air stuff out Sharp's approach. Alpha's gonna look for the kill confirm here, whether it's gonna come from an aerial or projectile, we'll wait to see. Nice forward throw, still not quite gonna do in Sharp's first stock. Uh, Sharp's been ready for all of these ledge trumps, man. He's just prepared. Nice down air, not quite gonna get follow up here. We're gonna see how Alpha tries to land. Alpha, to his credit, has been drifting back just enough, but man, the, the, the horizontal knockback range, or horizontal range of that Uppy, a lot farther than you think sometimes. That's like splash damage, but speaking of making a splash, Alpha able to close out that stock right there. A nice down tilt to the neutral B. Love to see. I love to see neutral B being, uh, or Mithra's neutral B being countered in, or uh, comboed into. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but honestly, it's such a good move because it has, if you're able to fully charge it, you can use it to force people off on the ledge. It's multiple yeah. hits, right? It kind of has to be it earned. It's behind her, too. Yeah, so and weird. it hits above her barely as well. Ooh, downers to catch Alpha just in the midst of M lag and now Sharp. Trying to see his way to a 2 0 lead here in this best of five. You know, you wouldn't necessarily think that Pyramithra have the best tools to mitigate Boomerang, but Sharp's just really not been bothered by it. You also want to see if Alpha's just better served by using fire arrows to control space better. Yeah. Oh, that was a good two because he Ooh. goes for, yeah, he goes for neutral special there and its range of how wide it is is good to call on an opponent who's trying to escape that way. A dash attack from Alpha, still not quite enough to take this top. Tries to get the bomb toss as well. That's a, sharp that was good, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh. was good on, that was good on Sharp because he went for that empty hop. Well, originally, it was a jump to try to call out Alpha to see if he was going to jump or look for a land. Yeah. That upper, that upper attempt was good to cover, and then the way that he immediately landed with enough space and frames 
to cover the up tilt and force him off the ledge. That was well played from Shrimp. I have to give him all the credit in the world because that was well thought. Is that like that landing up there would have caught jump from ledge probably. Exactly. And I can't believe up tilt was a roll roll read option there, but whew. It, like py what Pyra has that Mithra doesn't is just the long like Mithra already has arguably a pretty solid sword like in terms of range but Pyra has an even bigger sword and like I said yeah. what's the one weakness young link has surprisingly is he actually gets outranged he has to confirm his hits he gets outranged those are like two clear-cut weaknesses that he kind of has and that gives characters and players the opportunities to make up for those even yeah, the other this thing, oh, sorry, you're saying go no go for it oh okay, cool the other thing that was really just impressive to me about sharp's gameplay there is that even when he was pyra which the character's not necessarily known for having um incredible frame data he was looking for opportunities to swing even in disadvantage off of um alpha's projectile array in ways that I was like, okay, he's really comfortable even when he's in a particularly compromising position. Right. And, uh, wow, we're going to see some dock action. Speaking of kill power. <laughs> I don't agree with this dock, man, but you know what? Pyro's the one sitting here in the winter semis, the not me. Only, only Alpha knows what Alpha is doing here, and we'll see how this stock goes up against Pyro and Mithra. But we have this character have the modicum of success online whether it's mabel or some of the other docs like sem yeah i, I just think there. i just think you always want to have your best foot forward but like i said man alpha's the one here in top eight not me alpha knows what he's doing and like you said right there are some pretty good docs out there in the world who've done of really Wi really good yeah <laughs> the world of wafa <laughs> anyways alpha's trying to catch a, a aggressive movement in there with an f smash right now so far, he's had a, a much better time here just dealing with Sharp's pressure with the dock. Oh no, the downer, I was smashed. But he's DI. What a call to... out. Ugh. Yeah, because he, he <laughs> wanted to escape towards the ledge. That was fine for Alpha this time to maybe try to evaluate a platform or landing towards center stage. But the way that Sharp had just done so much damage with Pyra, it kind of forced Alpha to just get hard red there. Yeah, yeah there was kind of nothing Doc could do. His recovery, yeah. like I said, even though Doc is good, his recovery options inter are not that great, but he has tremendous knockback. Yeah, Alpha's trying to figure out a way to get these pills in, but ooh! Managing to just read the opportunity there and just fire away with the up B and make a uh, sharp deal with it. Doesn't able to quite do so and lose the stock. What a get up read! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was ready for that one. He has Alpha literally pressured in the palm of his hands, and Sharp is looking oh, to put this 2 out to the 3 out. This yeah. is rough. He's, he has expertly spaced the down air. <laughs> Pyro's down air being like possibly the character's best tool is. Oh, so I mean, look at this! Look at this back air too. It's got such a wide arc behind her. It's it's ridiculous with the knockback, and if you space it on shield, it's it's pretty much safe. Again, sending Alpha far off stage, and he's just doing all he can to survive this onslaught. And it's kind of hard, too, because, like, the one thing that Doc is as a character is that he's Mario with all of his weaknesses elevated, but he takes those weaknesses for more knockback. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, no, 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 Sharp. He escaped and then immediately put Alpha right off stage. Oh, good jump call by Alpha. And the F yeah. tilt's got Sharp off stage. Good for Sharp to hold that DI properly, but also just watch out for that up air as well. I mean, even though he did get hit, that was stressful, but that's good. Oh, again, the uppy alpha managing to hold on long enough to find a window. There's a mm -hmm. little bit of hope. There's some light into the, the tunnel. He's trying to take this to a game four. Yeah, Pyra has range with the sword, but she's got the end like too as well. So good for just alpha to find that clear option. Oh, this is a down throw. Small combos. That's the thing too about Ooh. Dr. Mario. Like he has really small combos, but that can just do tremendous knockback that at times you'll find yourself off the stage. Good parry, parry from parry. Sharp. Both players parrying one after another. Oh, trying oh to get no, a no. jab block there. And he just managed to avoid the uppy. Yeah, that was tough on Sharp too, because he drifted improperly. Had he drifted right, he would have called Alpha on the landing. Finally, we'll close that one out. It's interesting if Sharp didn't switch back to Mithra in order to take advantage of the character's, you know, considerable speed advantage. 
Yeah. Some of that dock very much lacks. Oh, what a read. Oh. What a read. And normally the way that Trump has been getting damage is like neutral air. All right, and then he'll try to go for a shield poke there because he can also empty hop, full hop, yeah. you name it. There's like a plethora of things you can do with just Mithra's raw movement speed and jump heights all together. But that was a good call from Alpha. I Alpha making me eat my words, which is the one thing I want to yeah. see. Well, he just managed. Uh, one of the things that Doc, Doc also clearly has on Young Link is survivability in terms of weight. Yeah. And so... It just able to withstand uh, Naita or Sharp's uh, onslaught with Pyra and Mithra, just eat all those sword hits and just last long enough to catch three shield drops. And that was all she wrote. Yeah. So uh, I'm figuring we're probably going to see a character swap here from Sharp. Yeah, he might not be feeling tw uh, quite as tranquilo after uh, that game, but we'll see. Back to the cloud. Yeah. Uh, game four here. Uh, Sharp going the cloud against this um, Dr. Mario. Honestly, this is kind of a... This is kind of weird because I... Uh, I have been proven wrong before, but in hindsight, Dr. Mario loses the swords by default. Like, he gets outranged even though he's got some crazy, like, speed distance with, that, with his own back air. And like I said, Dr. Mario is basically Mario with all of his weaknesses elevated, but with more knockback as a as a return. So this, in theory, and it's been proven before, like, this is rough for Dr. Mario. So we'll see what Alpha yeah, do Yeah, and also, Sharp's just been dealing with Pill really well as well. So it's not like, yeah. you know, he's just being completely, um, you know, having his world turned upside down by Pill, which mm -hmm. you can kind of expect. Instead, Alpha's just finding these small little moments to just barely get in, but ooh, eating the... Uh, the low blade beam and now dangerously off stage. The other thing that's interesting is that Alpha's barely used Doc Tornado. Like, I don't think he's used it once. It's more of a it's more of a, a definite read slash confirm. Yeah. It's more of like cool, I read my opponent in the air so I can go for Doc Tornado with the with how it works. Yeah, I know. Or I have confirmed Man. into it. So definitely Alpha has to keep that in mind. Like when is the best time to go for this move? So far, that was great. Uh, you can also, I think I'm pretty sure you can SDI from up B or DI away from it. So to avoid the second hit. So always look for that on cloud up B. Oh, nice back here off pill. Alpha right now. Uh, oh, sharp, sharp, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Oh. Yeah, he got greedy. If you have that limit and you are facing execution like that from alpha, it's best to just burn that limit and go for that really low recovery because you at least have a better time and you can still hold the stock. But also beautiful just timing and, and uh, energy there by Alpha to take that two frame up. No, Sharp, oh. not like this. <laughs> not like this, man. Now Alpha has a considerable advantage here. He can just kind of pick and choose his options. And this is exactly where the doctor is in, man. Look at this. Oh, but Sharp firing back with Big Fair, trying to land the back air instead of Alpha. This is back and forth. These two are throwing hands that's good this is good for oh well that was a little too early on the limit blade beam just because normally it would be fine to force alpha to pick a situation there and that would have given sharp the call out oh but my just God. a little Sharp's early one. okay that was good from sharp he tried he wanted oh. to generally get away but alpha is looking for this call out here low recovery good for sharp watch the shield here a couple back airs alpha with that up smash already man i don't know about you fro but i never want to go to this doctor Ooh. i would never want to go to this doctor But right now, man, I'm going to be Sorry. real. <laughs> Even I, I'm, I'm eating my own words and I would rather eat my own words than me be more right. If the players are, are beating the casters in this case, Alpha is making this Dr. Mario pick really, really work. It is great. You could almost say that uh, Alpha's doc is making you eat, making you eat your medicine. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Chat, press one if I should mute Fro again. Oh, not again. <laughs> That said, I mean, look, you know, both these competitors are, relatively speaking, veterans of the game. And Sharp, if anything, has definitely experienced a character counterpick of his own, not necessarily working out quite right or leading to a game five. And him having to switch and uh, 
change tact, and that's exactly what's happening here with the Joker coming out for Game 5 against Alpha's Dr. Mario. Yeah, this is like three of one of one of three of Sharp's best characters was Wolf and Sheik. So for Sharp to just put one of his best foots forward here against Dr. Mario and Alpha when it's do or die game five, and you know you want to win that first place for MSM. Definitely good on Sharp to you know say, forget this, let's go on to the real character here. But we'll see, man. This Dr. Mario Dr. Mario on Wi-Fi has a bit of a buff for sure. Like online, online he's pretty solid. Offline, not too much. So far, Alpha has been getting the better of the exchange at the start of this game five, but Perry leading to a big window here for Sharp. Looking for the punish, but not quite going to continue on that plat. Big grab from Alpha. Down oh, what air. a read on of the, the platform. Oh. That was all the small dash dance just to get that big read. I am sorry, man. Alpha is definitely playing like an Alpha. That's an Alpha move, but it's also Alpha for him to actually just pick up what is considered a low tier character and beat one of the top tiers that way Oof. I see he's using it as a recovery option and that's good for alpha look at that high recovery sharp was all over that low recovery and alpha knows what he has to do to make the proper recovery options sharp right now is just darting back in and back and forth right now is really just using um Joker's closing speed to his best advantage, but Alpha is holding on tight to the stock. Oh, Sharp almost managed to close it out there and keep Alpha from getting back on stage. Double down tilt. Not quite going to lead to a combo starter exactly. And here comes a thief's best friend, Arsene. He's out. Yeah, Arsene Lupin. If you guys don't know the character. All right, neutral there. He are sharp already immediately at that ledge. He either wants his forward tilt with his back air. There is that red number on that percent, and that back oh. air will be the one thing to finally take it. Even though uh. there's a small trade there, look at Alpha with so much of a lead here. 74 on that. That's an unfortunate trade for Alpha, but... Oh, he tried to do the uppy call that worked so well in game three. Not quite going to do it there. Oh, using the dash attack to low profile the Aegon. It's really tight and neutral being played by Alpha right now to avoid all Sharp's better frame data and better character movement. The up air connecting Alpha. Got. Oh, oh he almost close. connected. That was the close. That was close. The weak hit and he fell out, but still able to close out the stock there. That up smash on the recovery, man. Alpha is all over Sharp and this character man sharp has yet to have gotten a break here on any of these aerials 94 here on alpha for it so i'm sorry dash attack to finally do it here oh big f smash though we're completely even ball game here can alpha keep it together he's got to keep his composure after losing that stock oh big both players whiffing grabs right now Oh, big dash attack from Sharp, especially with the Arsen out. Sharp swinging away with the back air, looking for the guns to come out. Yeah, Alpha knows this is pretty much any man's game. If he plays this oh, properly, Perry. as good as he's been doing, he'll be able to come back. Neutral air oh, from the grab up air. That oh was close, because that forward air, yeah. If that forward had him, man, that would have been curtains. Oh, the down tilt whiff because of the, it was just, he still had iframes from landing. That is so tight right now, folks. It's any man's I'm game. Holding my breath. I'm Alpha, holding my breath. Alpha gets one confirmed. That could be it for Sharp. Same thing for Sharp. If he gets one ability, uh -oh. just push us uh -oh. in. Oh, we got the up smash up tilt anyway. Literally, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Alpha, not like this. He wanted to call out Sharp for being in the air the way he was. But yeah. ultimately, Sharp will get the better of that Sharp, with his patience. All I gotta say is Sharp might be Naito right now, but that was the he hit the switchblade right there. Mm -hmm. 
they'd have smash and that's to do it for alpha's run on winter side uh three two to, to sharp man 